Hey y'all, hey Amanda here, and today I wanted to do a little makeup decluttering video. Um, I did a makeup inventory a while ago, several months ago, and I never ended up posting it on my blog just because I never got around to it. I think I might just go ahead and put that all in one blog post and stick it on my blog just so it's there. But, um, essentially I went through and counted everything. The numbers are probably going to be wrong because I've pulled stuff out since, but whatever, I'll try and make them as correct as possible. So, here are some items I made a conscious decision to try and use or I felt it was time to just get rid of, and uh, let's go through them. So, the first thing I am decluttering from my collection is the Wet n Wild Color Icon bronzer with SPF 15 in Ticket to Brazil and it's a nice enough bronzer it's just way too dark for me way too dark for me and way too orange that does not work for my skin tone which is pale as hell at all so it's time to get rid of it sticking with face products I'm also getting rid of this Mirabella um, what is it mineral highlight powder in glowing coral the color is pretty it's just the flecks of shimmer are so chunky compared to other highlights it's just kind of ridiculous looking it looks like you were playing arts and crafts or something and you ended up with gold glitter on your face so I'm gonna pass this on to someone who might like it better because I think Mirabella products are rather expensive I got that in a multiple box so they usually don't send like cheapy cheap stuff uh, I guess sticking with face I'm going to get rid of the Makeup Forever full coverage um, camouflage cream it's the concealer and I had it in the color too I can't make this stuff work I hate it it's so thick and gross it's just not for me I don't like the consistency whatsoever so um, I don't know if I have any friends pale enough to pass this on to, but if I do, I'll see if one of them likes it better. I definitely did not. Another face product, the L'Oreal um, Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation. I didn't mind this at first, but now I just hate the way it looks. It's so dry. Even if I mix it with something, it just looks so dry like my face is a desert I can't stand it it's so gross no matter how I apply it I just don't like the way it comes off looking and I have normal to oily skin so this should not look like a damn desert on my face but it does and it's just gross so once again yeah I can figure out a friend pale enough to pass this along to I will if not it'll just uh, be hitting rocks and this is the last face product. This is the Jelly Pong Pong Glow Getter Luminizing Gel. It's, this has a pretty look to it, but I just don't like the consistency. It's just gross feeling, the gel. And it's like a pain in the butt to work with. I don't know. It looks nice on the hand, although it's not giving off very much of a glow at all. I think it all stayed on my finger, which is like pointless, but it's just icky. I don't like it. This I'm getting rid of because I've moved everything into a, um, what are they called? A Z palette. So I have no need for this little MAC palette. I might give this to a girlfriend or something. It needs to be cleaned though. And then I have two eyebrow pencils. These are the CoverGirl Brow and Eye Makers in the color Soft Blonde. There's nothing soft blonde about these. These are like straight up for redheads. They're so orange. So, not really a fan of those. And then I'm getting rid of the Clinique, like the little lower lash, um, what's it called? Bottom lash mascara in black brown. It just, I never used it. I never find myself reaching for it. It's probably gross at this point. It may maybe should have gone into empties, but I figured I'd just put it in this one because I just never reach for it. So, getting rid of it. Then lip products are all that's left. 
This is from Philosophy. It's the Caramel Apple Lip Gloss. And I've just had it for a really long time and never used it because the smell is rather clawing and in your face. I don't like the scent whatsoever. It's just sickly sweet smelling, so I never touched it. And then I have two Maybelline lipsticks, both from the Rebel Bloom line. And I have number 700, Barely Bloomed, and 745, Peach Poppy. Neither of them wear well on the lips. They're both far too emollient to look nice, even if you've exfoliated like a thousand billion times. Like, even on my hand, this Barely Bloomed looks disgusting. It's like, they're so patchy and gross, I can't make them work. They just, they're pretty in theory, but the colors are not pigmented enough and they're far too emollient to give any sort of even opacity and coverage for a beautiful look. Now, I don't care for this line in general, but the other colors in the line, at least the ones I'm working through so far, are at least workable. These ones, not worth your time. So... They are. I'm going to see if someone else wants them, but honestly, I just think these are absolute crap. So that is everything I am getting rid of. Everything I've decluttered from my collection thus far. I think I've done a really good job. I'm actually trying to work my way through my lipstick collection and try every single one of them on while simultaneously working on like a handful, a few that I've really been trying to finish up. It's just so hard to use up lipstick. <laughs> it's really hard to use up lipstick. It takes forever. So, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. If you happen to love one of these products, tell me why you love it, and how you use it that makes it, like, perfect for you. Maybe I'm just, like, not doing something right, let me know. And also, if you have, like, a little declutter video, let me know. I love watching them. They're, like, some of my favorite videos to watch. Um, Jenna Rose XO and, um, Elle Fowler have both done decluttering series lately, and I love them. I absolutely love them. And the OG of decluttering videos, Pink So Foxy, or, um, Christine Kobzeff, she changed her name, on YouTube, She's got the best decluttering inspiration videos from, like, a few years ago. You can just go back and watch all of them. They're amazing. I love declutter videos. So, anyway, I'm rambling at this point. Subscribe if you'd like to stick around for a while, and I will talk to you all later. Bye!